Can you, I can't believe that I'm doing this right now. This is insane. I have my hand up a scarecrow's butt. <laughs> We are back again and we are going to put together another animatronic today. Now this is not a spirit Halloween animatronic. However, it is sort of like a spirit Halloween animatronic. I believe this one was originally sold at Party City, maybe Halloween City, but they're basically the same thing so it doesn't really matter. However, this one is sort of like Rusty and Rusty is a spirit Halloween animatronic. If you remember, Rusty is the guy who's sitting on, I don't know, a chair or maybe even a hay bale. I don't remember. He's got a burlap sack head and he's holding a chainsaw. So it's basically the same kind of frame as this one. And when you walk by and you reach down to the candy bowl down here between his feet, it triggers him and he jumps up and he lifts up his chainsaw and he starts shaking it and going nuts. I am assuming that that is what happens with this one, although this is a pumpkin dude named Smiling Jack, and he doesn't have a chainsaw. He has an evil deadly shovel, okay? <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I was going to get killed, I'd rather get killed by a chainsaw because it's quick and easy instead of getting beat to death by a shovel. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this guy up. I am super anxious to find out, number one, if he comes with this hay bale that he's actually sitting on. I don't see anywhere on here where it says that he does not come with the hay bale. I would not expect him to, although maybe he does, you never know. But let's go ahead and look at the box real quick here. Smiling Jack Greeter springs to life when tricksters reach for treats. So right off the bat, they're calling us tricksters. What is up with you? I'm offended. You're canceled. <laughs> okay, so... When us tricksters reach for the treats, he jumps up and scares us. Thrilling animation and chilling Halloween sound effects. External speaker compatibility to maximize the terror. So, if you wanted to, you could plug him into an external speaker to make him even louder. Which makes me very curious to know what kind of sounds he makes. Smiling Jack greets your guests with goosebumps, sound, motion, or foot pad activated, okay? The foot pad is sold separately. Life-size jump scare action. All right, I wanna get down to this. Oh look, he uses four AA batteries. So I wonder if he comes with a plug for the wall and you have the option of using the batteries. I guess we're gonna find out and it's a good thing that I have four AA batteries. Is it double A's? Yes, it's double A's. It's a good thing I have four AA batteries in my other room there, just in case we need them. So. We see a picture of Smiling Jack on the side, we see a picture of Smiling Jack on the back, and we see a picture of Smiling Jack on the other side. So let's go ahead and get this open, guys. I want to see what's up with Smiling Jack. I actually paid $59.99 for this guy at a store called Mark's, which is kind of like a resale store. It basically gets uh, items from other stores that didn't sell. So this probably was picked up by them one year after Halloween, and it was something that didn't sell at Party City. Okay, I'm gonna have to set this on the floor. We've got our instructions here. Part of the shovel. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's just like a cheap foam shovel. All right, I mean, it works, it's just a prop. Everything is jammed in here, okay. So we do have an adapter. I wonder if this all comes out of here as one piece. All right, there's a little piece. There's another piece, that must be part of the shovel handle. Let's go ahead and snap that together because I just can't wait. Ah! Something like that. I see legs, I see hands, I see feet. Okay. Okay, I see. All right, man, it's a job just getting him out of the box. And, all right, we got twisties over here. So I was trying to just pull him out and he's all twisty tied in there. Uh, another one over here, tied in anywhere else. Of course, he's tied in on the back. At least he appears to be in like one big piece, except for the candy bowl. That's a giant candy bowl, man. You'd have to put a lot of candy in there. 
The question of does he come with the hay bale, he does not. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna set him on. All right, legs are coming out already. What the heck, man? I love the look of his face. Look at that, that's a creepy guy. Hello, Mr. Creepy. This'll be interesting. Okay, I feel a base. Excuse me, sir, you're knocking my movies down. I don't love you. All right, well, let's get this bowl out of the plastic. And the bowl has a sensor on the inside and a wire. Uh, this must be part of his shovel. The other part goes through here. What we need, the shovel, the shovel handle, the power cord, this guy, the bucket, this thing. And that would be the center snap lock pole. Very interesting. Unzip the back of Jack's clothes, locate the base, and insert the center snap lock pole into the base. We want to snap A into the base and B into the part that holds his head, I guess. He ain't gonna put himself together, yo. This zips or unzips. All right. The pole goes up his butt. <laughs> Snap the pole firmly into his butt. <laughs> what the heck, do I seriously have to reach up in here to find this thing? Can you, I can't believe that I'm doing this right now. This is insane. I have my hand up a scarecrow's butt. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, snapped into place. All right, there we go, he's sitting up. That was pretty simple. <laughs> All right, forgive me, I'm sorry. No more butt jokes. All right, mister. Hey, okay, these arms have got to connect somehow. Open the hook and loop on the back of Jack's shirt. Locate the arm snap lock poles and insert both poles into the module located beneath Jack's head. All right, he's got Velcro. Oh, Mr. Jack. So there's a part on here you have to snap in, basically without looking at it. So that one snaps in with his arm up. The other must do the same. I mean, it's cool that he's all one big piece. Okay, we're getting there. Velcro him back together here. You know, I like the Velcro because it makes it easy, but it always Velcros to their clothes instead of the other Velcro. We got the arms up. So here he is so far. Straighten you up a little bit here, sir. I like the looks of his face. Look at that pumpkin face. That is pretty dang cool. Next up is the shovel, I believe. You see how this is shaped kind of like a triangle? There's a triangle hole on here that you have to match it up to. There we go, all right. Starting to see where this is going. All right, okay, yeah, mister, come on now. Place the bowl at Jack's feet and connect the wire running from the pants to the wire on the bowl. I gotta find something for him to sit on. Maybe we'll just put him on the couch. Okay, so I just set him on his own box here and let's go ahead and plug in his giant bowl of candy. So here's the wire behind his foot. All right, bowl of candy right there. And let's toss some milk duds in there. Yeah, this is from eating all them milk duds. So, <laughs> so the power box is under his butt. We're back to the butt, guys. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir, I have to access your butt for a minute. <laughs> oh look, there's a Velcro strap on the bottom of him so you can strap him onto whatever he's sitting on. And I bet we're gonna find out why that's there in about a minute. Oh, okay, here we go. He's all set up and ready to roll. Let's just get a good look at him here before we go up here getting this sensor going. He is pretty dang cool looking. I absolutely love the look of his face. Hey, whoa, whoa, holy crap. <laughs> that sensor worked so good. I didn't even reach for the candy. Sir, you scared the living crap out of me. You were well worth the money. That was so cool. All right, let's just try it again because that was so awesome. Small child walks up and goes, oh, hello, Mr. Nice Pumpkin Man with a Shovel. I'll take some milk duds. I'll take some milk duds. What the heck, man? He, he picked me up from just walking up to him. What in the world? Okay. Come on. Look at, he's playing games with me. Where's the sensor? There it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the sensor, like, points upwards, I think. I thought this little dot here was the sensor, but apparently it's this. Okay, so let's try that out again, because the sensor is just it's strange where that's placed. 
All right, Mr. Pumpkin Man is sitting here oh so nicely, just with a big smile on his face. Now, let's see exactly where this sensor is. So if you reached down, you could be like, I'll take the milk duds, and he never even moves. However, if, oh, there he goes. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean, he scares the crap out of you, definitely. Um, I wish his eyes and mouth lit up. That would be so cool. But even though they don't, he's still totally awesome. The only thing is, like, where's the sensor? So reaching in here doesn't do anything. But I think that's the sensor. So let's see. Yep. There he is. So sometimes he says trick or treat, and sometimes he just jumps and yells. Let's try it again. Trick or treat. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> okay, so the sensor is that tiny little dot right there. So I guess you could place it like this so that it would better catch somebody just walking up. That way when they walk up, if he doesn't already, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I do think it's funny that he shakes a shovel at you, like he's threatening to bury you alive. But anyways, yeah, if we put the uh, the bucket like that, then it catches you better when you're w just walking straight up to him. You don't even have to reach down for the candy, so we just walk up and go, Oh, cool, it's candy. Oh, trick or treat to you, sir! Yeah, he is pretty awesome. I love that guy. I like him much better than I thought I was going to. It's just really strange with that sensor, how you have to tip the bowl like that so it catches somebody right when they're walking up. And just thinking about that strap that we found on the back, if you walk up here, come on, sir, you can see how he's kind of sliding around as he shakes the shovel. So I had to push him over so he wouldn't fall off the box. And I definitely like on the box how he's sitting on a hay bale. So at Halloween time, I am going to get a hay bale. In fact, I might even make a fake one. I mean, you could just take a cardboard box that size and you could get some, I mean, real hay if you wanted to, but you could get fake hay and you could make a fake hay bale that he could sit on if you wanted to set him up like in your room or in your office or something. All right, guys, there he is, smiling Jack. Let's get him going one more time here. Reach for candy. He jumped up and he yelled boo at that time. He's pretty loud too. I don't have him turned up all the way either, but all right, Smiling Jack, we out.